Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. Oh, do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. William to serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. In today's weekly advertiser. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Engage the enemy! God damn it, dogs. Let no man reach us! Looks like you're to meet the Reaper. Aha! 
bringing fresh meat, eh? Come here. On your we'll guard, man. Of course. Only say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment there. Are you new? Who's your officer? Engage the enemy! All clear! Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery of Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. Greetings. How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you ought to Who patrol with us. Stop so said Silas. In prison. Mm. I said I assume it's all rather straight straight prison. Who are you to tell me what to do? Oh, good good friend of Mr. Oh, oh, I, mm. I see. They do not My apologies. Take care with your tongue in the future. And certainly, sir, upon my own, I'm not. A nice change of pace from the campaigning back home. Why do you think so many of us volunteer? Good pay, safe work, a chance to own some land. The French would see an end to that. I don't know. We seem content in the north. Sometimes I wonder if it's not we who provoke with our sorties and expeditions. Ha! That's exactly what they want you to think. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity, not another war front. I must say, the weather in Boston is much fairer than back home. Wait until winter and see if you still feel the same. Or summer for that matter. The heat and wet, it suffocates a man. And his uniforms. <laughs> Clearly so in Father Climbs. Too cold when it's cold, too heavy when it's hot.
An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. <laughs> passes through the gates. Do you hear me? No man! He's here! Stop the interloper! Benjamin! Glad to have you. Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. One I intend to keep. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect. It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. 
My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next. And I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin.